This is part four of a series of videos on Thompson's defense of abortion. This is just a quick video to cover some of the more common objections to Thompson's argument in her defense of abortion. So the first objection to Thompson's defense of abortion that I'm going to cover is called the weak analogy objection. Much of Thompson's argument depends on a few analogies that she makes. The main one being the violinist example. So if you'll recall from the previous videos, the, the violinist example, you were to imagine that you wake up in the bed next to a famous violinist the Society of Music Lovers has kidnapped you and put you into this situation, hooked you up to the violinist, and told you that the violinist needs your kidneys in order to survive because you're the only match. And Thompson asks us to consider, is it okay to unplug yourself from this violinist? And she thinks that most people think that it would be okay to unplug yourself from the violinist. And this is supposed to be an objection to the premise that the right to life outweighs the right to control what happens to your body. This is supposed to show that the violinist's right to life does not outweigh your right to control what happens in and to your body. This is supposed to be an analogy that is a counterexample to this premise. Now, Thompson admits that pro-life people could respond that this shows that there is an exception in cases of rape. But in order for this analogy to work, it needs to be a strong analogy. And many people object to the Thompson's use of the violinist case that this analogy is a weak analogy, and there's a couple of problems with it. The first problem is that the violinist that you wake up next to is a stranger. And in cases of abortion, the pro-life side argues that it's not a stranger, but it's actually your own offspring. In order to make this a stronger analogy, we would need to change the case so that when you wake up next to the famous violinist, it isn't a stranger that you are next to hooked up to, but it's your own close relative, maybe perhaps a long lost brother or sister that you never knew you had. Another way in which this is a weak analogy, according to the common objections, is this idea of unplugging oneself from the violinist is not analogous to what happens in an abortion. Most surgical abortions are what's called a vacuum aspiration. And I won't go into the details of this, but just know that it's different. And if we were to change around the case, we've already changed it to one's own close relative, but if we also change it to where instead of unplugging oneself, you must call in the doctor and the doctor has to perform a procedure that kills the violinist, many people might have very different intuitions about this case. So just imagine how this is supposed to go. You wake up, you find yourself hooked up to the person in the bed next to you, and the doctor tells you, oh, well, the Society of Music Lovers kidnapped you in your sleep and hooked you up to this famous violinist to save his life. It just so happens that this famous violinist is also your long-lost brother, and the only way to remove yourself from the situation is to call the doctor in and have him come in with a special vacuum that kills him. This changing the case in this way makes it a much stronger analogy, but... If we change the case in this way, then people are not going to have the intuition that it's okay to have the doctor come in and kill the famous violinist so that you can walk free. Another type of objection to this case is that Thompson's argument depends on what is called moral voluntarism. And moral voluntarism is the view that moral obligations must be voluntarily accepted. So think about the way this, the, the rest of Thompson's argument goes. Thompson has argued that in order for someone to use your body to save their own life, like giving them a kidney or giving them blood, then you must voluntarily give them permission to use your body. Well, this whole argument depends on this kind of moral voluntarism where you have to voluntarily accept your moral obligations. But according to this objection, the moral voluntarism objection, we actually have reason to doubt moral voluntarism. It is not the case that moral obligations must be voluntarily accepted. And here are a couple of examples that are supposed to show that. The first we could say is the deadbeat dad objection. So if Thompson's argument works that the moral obligations must be voluntarily accepted, then any father who fathers a child but has attempted to not be the father of a child 
um, has not voluntarily accepted any obligations to take care of his offspring. So if Thompson's argument works, then we're going to have a difficult time explaining why deadbeat dads who have never voluntarily accepted the obligation to care for their offspring need to take care of their offspring. And this seems like a problem. Here's another way of explaining one of the problems with moral voluntarism. Imagine somebody leaves a newborn on your doorstep. This is a stranger. You are not related to this person. And you see that there's a newborn on your doorstep and you're like, well, this newborn's right to life doesn't outweigh my right to control what happens to, to me. So I have no moral obligation to take care of this newborn because I have not voluntarily accepted the obligation to care for this newborn. Well, this seems kind of silly. If there is a newborn on your doorstep and you see it and you know that it needs your help and you just leave it out there, then it seems like you've done something wrong, that you at least need to take care of it until the you can contact the authorities and have some child services come and pick the child up. So there's, there are many objections to moral voluntarism, and these seem to be two major problems with Thompson's defense of abortion. As you think about the argument, you can think about other objections and possible replies on Thompson's behalf. So this concludes our four-part series on Thompson's defense of abortion. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.